Hey everybody, it's Bo the Mechanic yet again. Hey, I just got back from vacation. I was gone for a couple weeks up to the Dakotas. Beautiful place for beautiful friends. Got back and I've got tons of shit to fix, as usual, as you can see in the background, this beautiful shop filled with junk. And what I've got here is a big chipper, a big diesel chipper, one of the biggest ones they sell. I've got another video of it on there, maybe, online. It's a, a brush band at 1890 XP, and it's smoking horribly. Black smoke, black diesel smoke just everywhere, and they dropped it off, they don't know what's wrong with it, and so I thought I'd maybe make a little video and show you guys what it looks like when you're, maybe you have a diesel in your truck, or you have a diesel in a piece of equipment. And you don't know what's wrong with it, but it's smoking like crazy. <clears throat> well, let me show you, here we go. Here's your crash course to diesel smoke. What do you think? Pretty crazy, huh? <clears throat> well, next question is, why is it doing it? Primary question, why is it doing this? Well, I have my sneaking suspicions that, of course, it's a diesel chipper, so it eats trees all day long. So, I'm pretty sure the intercooler is going to be completely clogged with sawdust. Completely. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out there and take that whole cover apart and the whole intake and air filter. I'll take all that crap apart. And uh, diesel chippers and industrial machinery is a little bit different than machinery and trucks. So, your intercooler in a pickup truck is just a, you know, big aluminum radiator looking thing that air flows by. On a piece of equipment like this it's a little different. It's got a small radiator that's liquid cooled usually and it's heated up by the engine. And you know, it's a little bit different system. It does the same job. So I'm going to yank the whole intake manifold apart, show you guys what the <coughs> actual intercooler is going to look like on that machine out there, on that Cummins. And I'm going to show you how much shit gets inside it, which I'm sure is a lot. So here we go. So we're here. You already saw how much smoke there was. Now I'll show you why. Let's take a look over here at James the Big Dick Bastard. What's up, y'all? Do you have any insightful words for the camera? Um, I'm wondering to drive. <laughs> James had a small episode breaking his hand, drinking and driving. Let's see that wicked scar. Oh, it's healed not now. Two screws. <laughs> nice. Pretty fucked up, huh? Yummy. Check out his car. This is what happens when you drink and drive, when you drink half a bottle of Jaeger. There's the old Honda, totally smashed. Check the engine out. Pretty fucked up. Either way, we're happy that he's alive. Back to topic at hand. Don't drink and drop. So the chipper's yanked apart as you can see. And we yanked the intake manifold off, just like I said. This is a Cummins 6BT, which is a, a six-cylinder Cummins diesel 12 valve. They come in everything, all types of trucks, up until 1998 Dodge trucks. It's a little different setup, though. If you had a truck, you'd have an intercooler. You still have a grid, grid heater like this, but you'd have an intercooler. So after this, it would just go to a small neck-down pipe and then your intercooler in the front of your truck. Like, that truck's also got a 12 valve just like this in it. But in machinery, it comes with these. This is the intake manifold on an industrial piece of equipment. Like if you had this, uh, you know, in a dozer or a uh, backhoe or whatever, you might have it, a frame loader. Can you guys see all that dirt? All that dirt and awesomeness. Pretty wicked, huh? So what happens is, like the wood chips, because it's a wood chipper, has gotten sucked in there and it's filled that radiator grid. And it looks just like this. It's super, super tight radiator on the inside of here so this entire channel is completely filled with shitty as fuck wood chips and leaves and shit I wish I could grab some for you like that so it doesn't take a whole lot of that to smoke your motor luckily for this thing though like I said it's got this this radiator and it catches most of it so now we're gonna try and completely clean this steam bathe it put it all back together and see if we can get it running a little bit better hopefully we will and there we go. That was it. Got anything to say? Peace out.